Well, a World War II veteran was honored today by his family. The Salt Lake City man never wanted recognition for his service, even though he witnessed events many of us have learned from history books. News specialist Alex Cabrero has his story. Back him up there. He didn't want the attention. I feel like an animal in a cage. But when your family wants pictures of you in your military uniform in front of a tank. No food, they don't send me peanuts. <laughs> any good grandfather, like Mark Hayrand, will say yes. That was very impressive. Especially at Fort Douglas in Salt Lake City, where it all began. I was here for a while. Hayrand, now 102 years old, was drafted during World War II and sent to Fort Douglas. Instead of a gun, though, he was good with a typewriter. He could type 120 words a minute and take shorthand. And they went, you're in forward command. It was at forward command when he bumped into a certain general he would become a clerk for. I turned to the MP, I said, who's that joker? He said, watch your tongue, sergeant. That's old blood and guts Patton. He stepped forth like some warrior of old. As in General George S. Patton, commander of the U.S. Army in Europe during the war. That's when I took dictation from him. Heron took part in four D-Days, the invasions of North Africa, Sicily, Naples, Southern France, even the Battle of the Bulge. Before each of them, he was in the war room with General Patton and others, dictating what was said. He was part of every one of those plans and preparations for each landing. And when Nazi commander Hermann Göring, who was part of Hitler's inner circle, surrendered, Heron was in the room, dictating notes. Big man stature put his hand out to shake hands, and General White just looked at him. Didn't move a minute. He's been married 72 years and doesn't like to take credit for his service since he wasn't on the front lines. He is reluctant to bring attention to himself. But he was in the middle of it all. I was in the Army for three years and all of it, but five months, I was overseas. A front row seat to history. Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News. Wow, and a happy birthday.